All right, turning now to the latest on that breaking news from the Justice Department yesterday. Attorney General Merrick Garland appointing a special counsel to oversee the investigation into President Biden's son, Hunter. Now, that move deemed appropriate by some, but it is not welcome news to many Republicans, like Senator Lindsey Graham, who spoke with News Nation yesterday. Take a listen. This makes every problem they have worse. This was a political decision by the Biden administration uh, to fix their political problem. I think they poured, they poured gasoline on a political fire. Well, he is far from the only Republican speaking out against the new special counsel tonight. Correspondent Evan Moon live for us at the White House with that part of the story. Evan. That's right, Natasha. And it's an interesting about face from the GOP who had been pushing for a special counsel in this case for months. Nearly five years after starting an investigation into the president's son, Hunter Biden, U.S. Attorney David Weiss now appointed special counsel, giving him expanded powers to continue the probe that began during the Trump administration. The former president, who also faces at least three upcoming criminal trials, slamming the move today. And then you see how stupid they acted yesterday with the appointment of the special counsel. Call it special counsel. And what a crazy thing that was. And it's being laughed at all over the world. Like Trump, many GOP leaders are opposing the appointment in a major about face after months of demanding one was necessary. On the face of it, it would make sense and it's a good thing to have a special counsel appointed. The problem is that this is a total fig leaf. It is a distraction. I don't hear anything about, you know, the Hunter Biden cases or the Trump cases. I do hear a lot about the distrust in federal government. I don't think that the American people trust the Department of Justice or anything this is going to do. I think that this was meant to be a distraction. It's not a distraction. I think the Bidens are on a sinking ship. Republicans claim Weiss is no longer fit for the job after Hunter was offered what they call a sweetheart plea deal and a list of special favors during the investigation. Senator Lindsey Graham saying the probe had been compromised on News Nation yesterday. Mr. Weiss's team needs to be replaced with a new set of eyes. The whistleblowers have told us that this investigation was compromised. Uh, the plea agreement fell apart because of a good judge. Uh, this plea agreement was a sweetheart deal nobody else in America would get. So the only way you're going to fix this problem is to assign somebody new to the case. The move following an unexpected fallout of a plea deal last month. Hunter Biden planned to plead guilty on two misdemeanor tax charges and enter a diversion program in lieu of pleading guilty to a felony gun possession count. But after a federal judge refused the deal, Hunter Biden pled not guilty, now facing what could be a full trial and years of litigation. This all as his father campaigns for re-election. Now, this is all unprecedented territory. The son of a sitting president uh, who is facing criminal charges as his father runs for re-election, likely against Donald Trump, who we know faces criminal charges of his own, Natasha. Well, so Evan, speaking of Trump's charges, we are hearing there may be movement in Georgia surrounding a potential fourth indictment against him. What can you tell us about that? That's right, Natasha. So as we know, uh, Trump current, currently faces cases in Florida, New York, and Washington, D.C. But today, an Atlanta prosecutor uh, calling on at least two witnesses to appear before a grand jury early next week, as soon as Tuesday, including the uh, former lieutenant governor, Jeff Duncan. This is the most significant indication of intention to seek indictments in the investigation of how Donald Trump and others tried to overturn the 2020 election in the state of Georgia. Specifically, this Fulton County probe brings the possibility of a fourth indictment against Donald Trump, which is just uncharted legal territory for the GOP frontrunner for 2024, Natasha. I have Evan Moon live for us at the White House. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.